Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Competitive Channel and this video will be continuation to this assured end-to-end -end framework playlist video series. In this video, we are going to learn how can we handle different scenarios when we try to automate an API, when we need to test an API. We need to test the behavior of API with the different set of data. For an example, if you take the create airline API, which I have covered already in my previous videos. In Postman, I am going to try this create airline API with different set of data. If we pass all those fields which are required by this create airline API, then I will get an airline created. So here we can see that it is giving me that airline has been created and the status is 200. Suppose if I don't pass any values, it will give me an error message valid airline data must submit. Suppose instead of passing all these fields, I will just pass the ID, then it is giving me Again, one error message like error in saving data. What will happen if I remove the ID field itself? So it gives me an airline created with some default ID. So while automating, we need to make sure that we are covering all these scenarios. So in this video, we are going to learn how can we handle different scenarios of an API using the data driven approach. I have already created an Excel sheet. If you have watched my previous video, then you must have noticed that we had only these fields earlier to support the data driven testing. Now I need to handle the different scenarios as well. So I'm going to change my Excel sheet in such a way that it will handle whatever scenarios I need to cover. You can see that I have added four extra columns, scenario ID, then scenario description, expected status code and expected error message. You need to give the scenario ID or scenario description in such a way that anyone can understand what actually you are doing in this particular row or data set. This says that we are going to create an airline with a duplicate ID and I am giving the simple description like create airline with existing airline ID. I will get a 400 status code and also we are going to get one error message. In empty payload also we are going to get the status code as 400 and we are going to get one error message. When you pass only ID, then also we are going to get 400 and it will give me one error message like error in saving data. But when we try to create an airline without passing ID, then it is giving me 200 because it will create an airline with the default ID. It is not going to throw any error. So in this case, my expected status code will be 200, but I will not have any error message there. So I'm trying to set a pattern here. If any sale value is equal to no underscore data, then I am going to handle that in my code. You can give any pattern here that is up to you. When we are going to create a line with all data will give me 200 status code and, and we are not going to get any error message. For the first one anyway, we require all this data. But if you see the second row here, I need to pass the empty payload to pass the empty payload for all these columns. I am just passing the no underscore data. Now let's jump to IntelliJ and write the logic for it. First thing you need to understand here earlier we had one POJO class where we had these fields. So here you can see that we have all those fields, but now we have extra fields. So what you are going to do, you have one option. You can go and edit here itself. You may have multiple APIs to test and every API will have different number of scenarios. So what we are going to do instead of adding these fields to the request POJO classes, we are going to create a base POJO and in that base POJO, we are going to have these common fields inside the POJO package. I'm going to create a new POJO or new class that is called base POJO and inside this base POJO, I'm going to have those my common fields and I don't want these fields to be considered as part of payload because these are the common fields, which we, which I'm going to use to customize my logic. So I'm going to use the JSON ignore annotation on this and here I am going to have the getter and setter. I will not touch the existing POJO class, but I will create a new one and th this I can name it as like create airline and this create airline will extend my base POJO. It has all those fields. I just copied from my previous POJO class and here I am going to add one more annotation because here I am not passing any default value. So if any field has its default value, then we don't want to pass this as a part of payload. So I'm going to use the JSON include annotation and here I can use include non-default. Now I'm going to create a test. So first let me create one data provider method. So let me copy the old data provider method so that I can edit it quickly. So first thing we need to go and change my Excel sheet name, which is create airline data scenario dot XLS X. So I just need to pass my file name, no extension and 
it will have the same sheet name instead of al line i am going to return an object of create al line and same thing it will return as well now i cannot directly set the values like this we need to have a mechanism so that whatever pattern we have set in my in my excel sheet that should be used. So I'm going to remove this code and I'm going to create a new method. This method will return the custom data. So I'm going to have one private method and return type of this method will be my create airline data. And I can name it anything like get customized airline data. And this will take one linked hash map. So here I'm going to create an object of create airline POJO class since we are trying to set a pattern. So here in this Excel sheet, we must need to pass all these four fields. If there is no data for any field, just pass no underscore data. So I'm going to set this data in my POJO class. So set scenario ID. I'll use data dot get and I need to get this name. And same thing will be followed by remaining three. Now we need to handle expected error message. We can see here that for three scenarios, we have the error message value. But for remaining two, we don't have. So I'm going to have one if condition data dot get expected error message not equal to no data. So for this, I need to use the not operator. So what it is going to do if the expected error message value is, is not equal to no data, then only we are going to set the expected error message. Otherwise, it will be ignored. So similarly, how we handle the expected error message, we need to handle for ID as well. So I'm going to copy paste the same code for other fields. And you must be aware if you have watched my previous videos, when I am reading the data, Excel data as a map. In this map, I am already converting the value. If the sale value is equal to random number with the size, then I am already generating the random number with the given size or default size. So after getting the customized airline data, I need to return this object. So I'll use the return and create a line. This method I will call in my data provider. And here I need to pass the data, which is coming from here as a map and obviously this will return the create a line. So now this data provider will give the values as per the pattern set in my Excel sheet. Now I need to create the test case. So let me copy the existing test case from my old classes and the data provider name will be same as like airline data and instead of airline it will be like create airline. Now here we have tricky part how we are going to handle the different scenarios because we are going to get the different data set since this create airline extending one base POJO but whatever fields we have in base POJO those are annotated with adjacent ignore. So I can directly call my create airline method by passing this data. Let's handle the negative scenarios first. If you see my excel sheet and I have already shown you the behavior as well whenever expected status code is not 200 then we are going to get one error message so by using this logic i am going to write one if condition a line dot get expected status code is not equal to 200 so if it is not 200 then i can i know that i am going to get one error message that error message i need to extract from the response and i need to assert it two validation first validation will be verifying the status code and second validation will be verify the error message so i'll use the assert dot assert equals and here i can use the response dot get status code and expected i am taking from my excel sheet so first variation will be status code and second validation will be my error message so response dot json path dot get string and i know that the field name will be message and expected i am taking from my excel sheet if you see the first scenario where i am trying to create one airline with the existing airline id so you hit the request you get one airline you hit the same request then you are going to get this error message so when the first scenario will be executed, first time it is going to give you 200. It will not give you the 400. So here we need to have another if condition. Here I can put if airline dot get scenario ID equals create airline underscore duplicate ID. In this case, I'm going to hit this API again. Then only I'm going to get the expected error message. So by this way, I just handle my negative scenarios. If the expected status code is 200, then we have some positive scenarios. So I'm going to put that in my else part. So if you see the validation below here, I'm just putting all these fields, right? ID, name, country, whatever we are passing. It was the happy flow. But if you see the Excel sheet, here I have one scenario where I'm going to try, where I'm trying to create an airline without passing ID. So we can see that it creates the airline and it gives some random ID. So if you don't pass the ID, we will not get that ID in my output. So if we use the same thing, so it will fail right because there will be no id field so here again i need to use the if condition i can use like this and here i can put 
if the scenario id is create a line underscore without id if this is the case then i will have this map without the id key i will simply remove this one because there will be no id and i have left over with only one scenario which is happy path in that case i need to assert everything so i can use the else and i can because in the happy path we are going to have all those fields since i have less number of scenarios so i am using the if else condition but if you have multiple you can easily use the switch case and here also we have the repeated code so here what i can do i can simply cut it from here and i can paste in else part but when it will go to this if condition then i will call expected value map dot remove and i will simply remove the id field because id will not be there and this assertion will go the last and i can remove the else part also so i have covered all those scenarios so let me close the excel sheet update my tcn.xml as run through my maven runner So you can see build it successful. Let me open the report. So the first scenario was trying to create an airline with the duplicate ID. So first time it is hitting the 391952. And again you can see that it is hitting it again. Right. Because we have the if condition. So that it will call the create airline API again with the same request body. So here you can see that it is giving the error. For the second one we are not passing any value in my payload. So you can see here request body is empty so when we pass the empty request body we are going to get one error message so in the third scenario we have only passed the id so again we are going to get one error message if you see the fourth one where we are not passing the id but we are passing all remaining fields in that case it is matching all those fields except the id but here i can see it is logging twice so i will i need to check what happened and if you see the last one which is the happy path here you can see that here we are passing all those fields and it is validating all those fields as well in response now if i go to my test case under the airline test scenarios so actually i need to remove this one so in the next video i will show you that how can we use scenario id and scenario description in my report so that report will look proper and any anyone can understand what scenario you have covered so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone